Okay, hi everybody. Uh, welcome to Web User Group, where we just sit and discuss all things um, web property related, what's going on in uh, in the world of web and marketplace, and any other properties like search that uh, fall under the heading of web. Um, for those of you, I see a lot of people here, some that I may not have seen before. The map, isn't the map nice? I'm so excited. Not only was the map back, but also that zooming problem that has been happening for so many years is now gone. So nice. Okay, let me grab my notes so I can tell you guys all the good stuff we have been working on this last month since we last spoke. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Um, so we still have, we still have a little bit of uh, cleanup that we're doing, um, some tech debt stuff we're taking care of, uh, post uplift, um, that's starting to wrap up. So you'll hear, you'll hear me mention that less and less. Um, it's nothing that you all would be seeing. It's just kind of um, ways for us to fine tool uh, things now that we've all gotten everything up into the cloud. So there's still a little bit of that going on. Uh, the web team is also kind of taking advantage of this time now to do some uh, some up, very well needed um, upgrades. So there's some of that going on um, that's not going to be apparent to you all, but will definitely help us in the future um, rolling out new features and uh, and getting things out working smoothly. We've also taken care of a lot of internal tool projects, so things that our support team relies on or that we rely on to, to keep things moving. Um, some of it uh, in uh, Marketplace as well. So there's been a lot, of, a lot of housekeeping kind of stuff going on. Um, some of the newer things that we've had, we, I don't know if you all have noticed, there's a new secondlife.com page. Um, and we have received a lot of feedback about that page. Um, if you haven't seen it, you'll have to be logged out, of course, to see um, what's going on there. <laughs> We've received a lot of feedback, and we appreciate all of the feedback. I mean, honestly, we really do appreciate all the feedback that we've had um, on that so far um, as we kind of try out different things. And um, the tone of the feedback, it's been, it's been mixed. I mean, if you're if you're on the forums, you've seen some of uh, some of the comments got a little heated there for a little bit. Um, we had to to kind of put the brakes on a little bit that was going on in there, but um, there's it's it has the the feedback's been kind of mixed. It's been kind of all over the place. Um, but that there'll be some more activity on that web page, so you might want to check back every now and then to see if there's some new stuff going on there. Of course, I will tell you all here when we put some new things out as well. Um, let's see, the things that we have fixed. We fixed an issue with search indexing. Um, there was an issue where if you wanted to be shown in search, sometimes you couldn't be found. Um, so we get, went ahead and took care of that. So there should no longer be an issue now. If you want to be found in search, you should be able to be found in search. Fixed your dot, Jub Jub. We did fix your dot. <laughs> uh, no, Lucy, I'm I'm not commenting on that. Uh, what I can say is that there there is a real model in there, but that's I'm not going beyond that. Um, on marketplace, there was an issue um, with flagging and resolving flags that got fixed. There was an issue where um, email. Some of the emails that you had received would come back in a different language if you had followed a marketplace link that was in a different language. Um, that got fixed. We cleaned up uh, some, there were some straight characters on the flagged item email. So if you received an email saying that your item had been flagged, there were some straight characters um, in, the, in the top portion of that. And we fixed that up, cleaned that up. Uh, we took down the... Um, limited edition names that we had up for April Fool's Day, and I will say it was very successful. People who are into that kind of thing really liked it, and I think um, that in the future we'll do more um, special edition type names where they will be run for a limited time. 
um, for different uh, different occasions. So keep your eyes open for those if you're looking for um, any name changes. Uh, let's see. I already mentioned that. <laughs> Not always meme themed, but that that particular was that one was. Um, yeah, you know, we would have liked to have done something for yesterday and today, um, but there's a lot of um, a lot of regulation about using some of those words around the May the fourth and May the fifth, so we weren't able to do that this time. We might look for a way around that next time. Um, we did a, a little adjustment to the destination guide. If you any, if anybody uses the destination guide, if you ever look at the what's hot now section. If you're looking for something to do, um, if you've never used it and you find yourself with nothing to do, I would suggest using it. It tells you, it shows you um, some of the more um, populated places with things going on. Um, but we've kind of fine tuned that a little bit so that all of the areas that are showing in there now are actually very active and typically will have, you know, some kind of events going on. So you've got about 20 to 30 people there. So, you know, it's, it's a good place to go. Uh, how do you get places recommended to be in the destination guide? There is, there is, let me grab the link for you. There's a form that you can fill out. There was the, I didn't want to. The destination guide it. itself. You got it. I got it too. Let's see. Ah, oh, you all are faster than me. <laughs> I can't talk and type at the same time, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, um, you just fill out that form, and our uh, our team will get back to you on it. Um, one other thing that happened last week. Um, I think I have one more. Doo, doo, doo. No, I think that's it. No, I already mentioned that one. Yeah, that's so that's pretty much what we've been working on. Like I said, there's a lot of stuff going on in the background that you aren't going to notice, but it's going to help us uh, in the long run. A lot of infrastructure stuff going on um, that's going to be good for later on down the road. Um, I can tell you that I'm working on um, creating a plan to start putting some um, some marketplace um, changes in place. So that's not going to be immediate. Um, don't ask me next month because it's not going to be done. It's not going to be ready. Um, I, it's, it's very early, and we have some other things that ha we have to get done first ahead of that. But just to let you know that we are looking at making some changes to Marketplace based on most of y'all's feedback to us um, and some other feedback. So that's going to be a project that we'll be working on um, probably later on in the year, maybe. Time to file chair suggestions. If you do, be sure to check and make sure it hasn't been suggested already because we do have quite a few duplicates in there that we need to close that we've closed out because we've already got them. So um, I always encourage, uh, you know, feature, feature suggestions or, um, you know, changes to the marketplace through JIRA. Um, if you can, just please go through and make sure that it hasn't already been suggested already that you can find. Um, <laughs> and uh, we, we do go through those once a week. So we go through those on Tuesdays and go through them. Um, we've had several for Marketplace, so my list is uh, is really growing. So I'll be looking at all of those JIRAs, kind of gathering up them all and seeing what we can do. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Exchange. Is it Wednesdays? Oh, you know what? You're right. It is Wednesdays. Because we did it today. Yeah. I'm a day off because I wasn't here yesterday, so it's kind of thrown my week off. Custom last names. We do have custom last names. They're extremely expensive. And they're more geared towards like corporations, things like that. Um, and we also have, you have the ability to suggest a last name. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, 
Um, that's that's another thing I'm going to take a look at this year is looking at um, la the last name program and seeing Cokehead's life. <laughs> um, you know, seeing what we can do around that. Um, not making any promises about anything about it, but um, you know, just looking how we can kind of enhance that program. I know I know a lot of people have a lot of feedback on it, but um, not requiring to make a new account. I think I've seen a Jira on that. I think we have a ticket in about not requiring. It may it may have been yours, yeah. Custom last names for hair fees would be just. Well, we do, like I said, Lucy, we do have the the custom last name program. It's really expensive, um, and like I said, it's been more for um, corporations to kind of protect their their company name. Plus, I have no news on Plus. I have zero news on Plus. Oh, without the corporate baggage, yeah. Um, about Plus, that's not to say that it's not, that it's dead. Um, it's not dead, it's just kind of been pushed to the side a little bit while we work on other things. Uplift really um, kind of put put a, a stop to everything else that we were working on while we were doing that. So we've got some cleanup to do from that still and uh, and some other uh, other projects that we need to to get done. And we do we do still talk about it. We do do still think that it's you know a good idea, and uh, we'll probably revisit it at some point. No, Uplift wasn't to blame, but it was you know. <laughs> The news on mobile. Um, no, I didn't give any news on mobile yet. Um, the news on mobile is uh, we're still working out some bugs. And I know I say this every month. We're hoping to have something in the App Store soon. Uh, we are still. Um, we just kind of keep running into a few bugs here and there. So still, still being worked on, Nanara. Thanks for reminding me about that. I did forget that. Why did last names go off first? Why did we stop doing last names and move to resident last names? That was a decision made without me. <laughs> um, yeah, it was just a, it was a product decision before I was in product, long time ago. That was at the same time that display names were introduced and so the thought was that people wouldn't be attached to um, their account names but would be more attached to a display name because they could change it as they liked but yeah it wasn't yeah yeah I heard that that the, too many people were dropping out when they had to pick a last name I'd spent you know with my first account that I made I spent a long time looking for the perfect last name that was like part of the fun of, of creating that name Land issues yesterday. Uh, like I said, I was not here yesterday, but let me see. I think we had a, um, I think we did some rolling restarts yesterday. Yeah, we had a, we had a deploy yesterday. And so, I mean, I, I'm not sure about, you know, two hours offline. That's going to be a question for um, the support team. It seems like a long time, but I'm not sure what happened yesterday. Oh, let's see. Make sure I'm not missing anybody. Yeah, I remember going in and refreshing the list, trying to find new last names, and then trying to pick the best first name to go with that last name that wasn't already taken. <laughs> Was in a restart loop. Yeah, if you ever, if your region ever seems like it's offline for an ex, you know excessive amount of time, you might want to contact support and see if there's something going on. Sometimes it may be the rolling restarts, and sometimes it may be something else. So um, it's always a good idea just to to check in with support to see if anything's happening there. Yeah, my first suggestion would be, you know, check the um, the Second Life Grid status report. If there's any kinds of outages or 
um, any issues going on that we think may affect um, in world experience, we'll post there first and let let people know, you know, hey, we're working on this. If you don't see anything, you know, maybe hit up support. I'm um, not sure what your support options are, but you can go to, you know, ticket or, or live chat if you have that option um, and just check in with them to see. Sometimes with the rolling restarts, it may take a little bit, but yeah, for sure, check in. Okay, did I get everybody's comments, questions? Make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, um, yeah, I think that's all that I can talk about that I have going on right now, I think. Yeah, <laughs> there, there's some other things going on that I can maybe talk about next month, um, but that's, that's pretty much all the updates I can give you for this month. We can throw the floor open and anybody can ask questions. Um, Brooke, when it comes to um, any kind of governance action after a complaint's been filed, there's not a whole lot that I can comment on. Um, the governance team applies a lot of different, um, you know, techniques depending on what the issue is and uh, some other factors involved as well. Sometimes there's warnings, sometimes there's other actions. So um, I, I can't, you know, obviously I can't talk about you know, a, any specific issue, um, and I can't go into um, other specifics, but I can say that there is a, a definite review process that the governance team goes through when a complaint has been lodged, so. Governance ate a lot at safe hubs, yes. They do hang out at the safe hubs, especially if there's reports, if there's anything going on. Just have the marketplace translate into other languages as Italian. You know, we have talked about that. Um, we have talked about translating into different languages, and that is uh, that's about right to help with the translation. Uh, actually, yeah, I remember senior ticket. That may be what started off our conversation internally. Um, we we are kind of kicking around that idea and looking at different languages. Um, nothing in the immediate future, but that is kind of on our um, our line of sight to go down and, and do at some point. Uh, Brooke, yeah, no, on Marketplace as well. Marketplace, it, it, they use the same review process that they do in World. So, yeah. Uh, what do you mean abusive rating, ratings? Like comment, the comments that people are leaving? Um, if you want to suggest somebody to stop it, um, I would say support ticket because we do have somebody that goes and um, and reviews all of the tickets that come in, support tickets that come in for Marketplace. So if there's something specific, I would say, yeah, go ahead and send that in in a support ticket. Um, and that team can take a look at it and see what's going on. Nothing to do with the product, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I mean, I can't, I can't, governance actions are something that we don't really discuss because of very different, uh, various different things. Um, but I, I can tell you that those are read, they're reviewed, they are actioned. Um, you know, the fact that you see them taken down is, um, is a good sign because it, it, you know, it says that they're, they're taking a look at them. Um, if it's always from the same person, there's a review process for that as well. And anytime you see it, you know, obviously send in a, a report on that as well. I sure guys, the tickets needs an other category. Uh, 
you know, it's been so long since I have been on the support side and looked at the issues for tickets, I have to refresh my memory. If there's not an issue type that matches with what you are trying to send, you can just pick any kind of issue and when the support team takes a look at, look at those, they will go in and change the category on there. So if you're trying to send one in under skill gaming, let's see. <clears throat> and you can always send it to you know, somebody's attention, like in your description to say, you know, please send a Corky, Lyndon. Um, I would put, oof. I'd probably put that under technical questions, Lucy. And then as soon as the agency that that's um, skill gaming, they'll, they'll send it on over to Corky. Yeah, I know, your other category. I think we had somebody request an other type. Uh, Yeah, now I see what you're saying. Um, let's do it. Use in-world issues. But yeah, I get what you're saying about other category. Um, the the we stopped having an other category because there was all kinds of stuff going into the other category that wasn't support related. Um, and it was it's it was a little more streamlined to have specific categories for people to choose. So it was easier for us to say, okay, if there's a category we need, we can always add it, as opposed to just having kind of a catch-all other type of category. Uh, okay, new product, an SL. I'm not sure if LL would not have any problem with it. Um, for that, I would actually send in a support ticket and ask, um, you know, kind of explain the situation, explain what it is you're doing, and ask if somebody can review it. And then depending on what, you know, what the object is, uh, somebody from, you know, whichever team. Uh, well, you can do that too. <laughs> oh, you already sent it? Oh, okay. Three months ago, I can ping him. I can go poke him and say, hey, and have somebody take a look at it. <laughs> All right, I'll see if I can. I'll go poke him after we're done here. I'll get back to you. <laughs> we could have a demonstration here. You know, we could all weigh in for you. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Only halfway teasing. Okay, I admit it. <laughs> Are you saying the object may not be G-rated? Or what it does may not be G-rated? <laughs>
I don't know. Surely there's one somewhere. There's some on Marketplace. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure. <coughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm, I haven't seen them personally lately. But I'm sure there's some somewhere, something set up like that. I like how it took your boom and put the sound in there, too. Regions, regions. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple stores ownership purchasing being explored. Um I'm not sure I know what you mean. Having multiple stores in the marketplace? What do you what do you mean? Okay. Um it is not currently being explored. Um but if that's something you'd like me to look at, send me a Jira. Has it? I figured it might have. Using alt, yeah. I mean, we. I'm. I'm open to exploring it again. And if we already have a ticket, for, I'll see if we have any open tickets for it. Yeah, it's something that we can explore as we're going through and looking at the, um, ooh, thanks, really. Um, when we're looking at doing um, some updates to Marketplace, we can take a look at that. Uh, I'm not sure, really. That's the first time I've seen that. I know we had some problems when we were importing some tickets at one point because Jira did some funky stuff on us. Uh, and I wonder if that's... We had to kind of do a workaround when we were accepting um, feature requests. And I wonder if that is because of the workaround that we had to do. Everything's back to normal now, but for a while we did have this funky workaround we had to do, so I wonder if that's why. Yeah. 
Yeah, looking at the workflow, it looks like that's what it was. For non accepted? Huh. Hmm. Yeah, maybe it's. I'll have to go. I'll go ask about that. I hadn't actually seen that yet. But just remember, just because it says ready for development doesn't mean that we're working on it <laughs> necessarily. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Imported is better says like, yeah. like that better really <laughs> I'm trying not to use soon anymore it's really hard it's really difficult <laughs> Okay, I have a question for you all. Place profiles. Oh, you're going to ask a question, Lucy? If it's a name that they've had before, yes. So any, any names that you have either, you know, created originally uh, with legacy last names, um, or have bought a new last name or new first name or both first and last name, um, those remain um, in your bank to change to. So yeah, if you want to, uh, yep, yep, that will that name will always be your name. Nobody can ever use it, even when it's not in use by you. Yes, you do have to pay for it again. There's a fee to bounce back and forth. Deactivated accounts, reactivated. Yeah, you can you can typically do them yourself on the web. Um, if you can't uh, reactivate a deactivated account, uh, support ticket, and the support team will help you get that reactivated. Yeah, like I said, you can go to the support page, you know, log into that account. Um, if you have difficulty getting into that account, you can contact support as well. They'll help you out and they'll help you get that one reactivated. Yeah. 
Uh, you know, I have not gotten locked out of my account for a while. It was at one point. Yeah, that's still the protocol. Okay, um, I good. think we have a ticket somewhere to do something different there, but I yeah. don't know. The difficulty with doing the resident, you know, if you're use, naming somebody whose last name is resident is sometimes they have to, in order to use a name, they've got to put numbers in it or, you know, spell it a funky way or something like that. So it makes it even more difficult to try to remember it. You know, was that Lucy 867 or was that Lucy 876 or, you know. Then you get yourself locked out and have to wait <laughs> to try again. All right, any other questions, topics we want to discuss? <laughs> I know you always have questions. You always have good questions. <laughs> I do have a question for you all about place pages. How, okay, how do I want to say this? Do you all, do you all use place pages a lot on a daily basis? How useful are they? What do you love about them, if anything? Okay. <laughs> Love that I cannot search them. Okay. <laughs> Game is on the place. Okay. Brooke, I'm getting back up to your question here. I kind of scrolled off. Um, yeah, Brooke, if that's something you'd like to see, file a JIRA for it, and we can take a look at it, implementing something, um, seeing what we can do about it. Beginning when they first came out, not so much now. Is there is there anything that you would think make would make them more useful or would make them make you want to use them? Oh, that's interesting, honey. Yeah. Would that be helpful to get the paste page, <laughs> place page link after you've already gotten there? Get more info. Hmm. That's a good point.
Yes, items for sale do appear on your place page. It's a toggle that you set when you set up the place page. Uh, there is an issue in that it lists all of the items that are on the parcel, including some that are not for sale, but it doesn't list a price next to them if they're not for sale. We do have a ticket in to fix that. <laughs> Oh, sorry. I just realized I was muted. <laughs> uh, Jeb Jeb, I was answering you about your question about marketplace logouts. Um, we believe it's fixed. Have you seen it recently? Okay, well, that's different. <laughs> yeah, we, we thought we fixed the marketplace issue. So if it's, if it's still happening, let me know. Okay, back to the place pages stuff. Do -do. Okay. Yeah, I just, I kind of wanted to get y'all's feeling about place pages, what's useful, what's not useful, is it useful, um, just to see where, where people's opinions are on that. <laughs> there would be that one contingent would, that would be like, I do everything on place pages. <laughs> okay, so the, the most beneficial part of that is seeing what's for sale. and where, and being able to teleport directly to that item. Mm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Browse it by category. 
by, by interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's listed in the viewer. I don't think you can... I say that now I'll probably find it. But no, I don't think it is. Okay, well, I appreciate your feedback on it. Um, thank you for um, offering your opinions on that. I appreciate it. Um, we've got a little less than 10 minutes left, so if there are other questions, I want to make sure we have some time to get to those as well. Promoting it, yeah, possibly. we have five minutes left any other questions or things we want to talk about
And the meeting regarding mainland, that would be the um, the concierge and land meeting uh, every fourth Wednesday. So more towards the end of the month. All the user groups are there. Oh, you guys already got it. <laughs> you guys are ahead of me. Uh, anything coming up for the birthday convention? Mm, nope. <laughs> I think the theme has already been leaked out, right? Of course, if it hasn't, you guys will lie to me and say, yes, it has. What was it again? <laughs> has it? Maybe it hasn't. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm going to get myself in trouble. Let me see, because I know we did a blog post. Yeah, they do mention it. Hidden worlds. Which is kind of a broad, you know, broad category. Lots of interpretation. Ooh, ouch. I don't know, is it is it a hidden shoe closet? <laughs> Possibly, Narnia. Narnia like. The borrowers. Another hidden world. Lots of lots lots of things can be considered hidden worlds. Insects. I don't know. Up for interpretation. Um, but more will be coming out about birthday um, soon. <laughs> I am not one of those people. I think I have like five pairs of shoes. And of course, with COVID and working from home, I haven't worn any of them except my flip flops. So. Uh, there is not, not right now. We are all still working from home, and I was working from home before COVID hit, so I'm kind of used to working from home. Um, management's great with it. Um, we don't have a plan at this point. We're just kind of leaving things uh, open-ended, and um, when the time comes that... Um, you know, things really open up and we could possibly be working in office again. We'll probably go back and uh, examine that and see what we want to do. But um, the teams have all been working great together um, from home. It's been it's been really good. Yeah, I've all the time that I've worked here, I've always been remote. So it's. It can definitely be done. <laughs> I mean, we did uplift with it. You know, with everybody being uh, being remote and working from home. Yeah. You do kind of miss seeing people face to face, but. Uh, 
for those of us who are very introverted, it's been great. <laughs> oh yeah, no! <laughs> Complete lockdown another for another month. Oh no! Oh, I hate seeing that. Yeah, a lot of places are are doing that again. Good coffee at home. Don't have to share the donuts. Yeah, that's a big bonus. Except I have three kids, so um, yeah, I never see the donuts. <laughs> Cat, yes. Oh, New Zealand. <laughs> All right, well, we are actually over time. So thanks for coming out, everybody. Great questions, great discussions. Appreciate all your feedback um, today. Uh, looking forward to seeing some more JIRAs come through for next week's review. Um, and hopefully next month I'll be able to share a little bit more about what we're doing in the different places, different areas. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, night, evening, afternoon, morning, whatever you got. <laughs> Bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs>